morning, y'all. Y'all know I film in the morning, right? Either way, morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching this, welcome back. I'm Logan, your favorite spooky fit chick, and this is Wild Fit, where we talk all things food, fitness, mindset, and hormones, and I keep that shit super fucking simple for you. Now, if you are a dynamic bitch such as myself, and you also appreciate supernatural content, I'm going to invite you over to my second channel, That Spooky Fit Chick, where we talk all things paranormal, supernatural, and unexplained. Now, both channels 10 out of 10 do highly recommend, whether you're trying to get in your fit mom era or you love to have the bejesus scared out of you, I'm your girl, okay? And if you like my content on either or both channels, then please make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share, all of the things that tell the social media gods that you like my shit so you see more of it. And uh, if you ever want to train with me one-on-one, -on -one, you can always, always, always find that link in the description. All right, baby. Now, uh, before we get started, y'all know I got to put you on the tea. And it's not even tea. It's coffee. And it's delicious. Okay, here we have her today. Delicious as always. She never disappoints. Um, but this is not a paid advertisement, though it will be someday. Come on, Four Sigmatic. Get with the picture. Get with the program. Go ahead and sponsor me. But this is the Four Sigmatic Mushroom Coffee. It is absolutely delectable. Uh, it is their think blend, which is perfect for mental focus and energy. Exactly what I need to sit down and film some high quality content for you guys. Okay. So I have this every time I film and, uh, I sweeten it with the Chobani pumpkin spice creamer. It is delicious. So freaking good. Yes, it's January. No, I don't give a shit. I will drink pumpkin spice all year long and I will be happy about it. You know, some bitches for some bitches, spooky is only in October maybe September, if we're lucky, August, okay? But for the real bitches, spooky is year round. Spooky never sleeps. And that includes the pumpkin spice, okay? Mm. It's so freaking good. So freaking good. So anyway, get you some, okay? All right, fam. Let's get into today's video because it's a good one. It's a good one, y'all. It is one of the top topics that I get asked about after, you know, budget friendly things, which is why I did the last two videos that I did. If you missed those, we talked first about how to buy, buy on a budget, specifically buy healthier foods. Uh, how do you do that without breaking the bank? I told you how to do that. You can go and check out that video. The next video we talked about training on a budget. Uh, and I gave you that that was my perspective or the content was from the perspective of me, a certified personal trainer. So what I would recommend doing uh, if you were a client who wanted to train on a budget, right? So you can check out that video for that content. And today we are talking about how to naturally increase your energy because that's something, again, I get asked about a good bit uh, or I'll hear people say, I just have no energy. I have no energy. Oh my God, I have no energy. Like after I do all the things that I have to do in the day, I, there's just nothing left. And I feel you, sis. I feel you. I am a mama. I'm a mama of four. I have three toddlers. So three of mine are under five. I have two, three, one, or excuse me. No, I don't. I, <laughs> I have four, three, two. So two, three, four. Okay. And then my oldest is 10. So I have three toddlers and uh, a 10 year old who thinks she's going on 21 y'all. So, you know, to say that my energy is divided and you know, I'm distracted and pulled in a million different directions is the understatement of a century. Okay. And then I also have a business. I'm a personal trainer. I'm a wife. Like there's a lot of things. I wear a lot of hats throughout the day and uh, I, I can definitely speak to seasons in my life where I felt like I just did not have the physical energy to fulfill all of the roles that I had to fill. And then there was also this voice in the back of my head that was saying, you can't give your best if you aren't your best. You can't give your best if you aren't your best. You can't pour from an empty cup. You can't pour from an empty cup. And I don't know about you, but I wanted to show up and be my absolute best for the people that I love the most. But it was those people who often made it feel impossible to prioritize any kind of self-care. You know, whether it was working out, whether it was eating a little bit, healthier, where, whether it was a bubble bath, where, whether it was taking a walk, whatever it was, it was serving those people. It was having those people who I love the most in my life that made it feel the hardest to do those things. So it was this constant tug of war of you need me and I need me so that I can be my best so that I can show up for you, right? It, it, it's, this, it's this constant uh, back and forth situation. So I'm going to share with you today 
Uh, a couple of really simple things. In fact, I think it's five. I think that's our magic number here, fam. We've got one, two, three, four, five, and then we've got a bonus and some honorable mentions. Okay. So five seems to be our magic number. That's what I gave you in the last two videos also, uh, plus some bonuses. So I'm always going to under promise and over deliver. You feel me fam? And, uh, these are things that I have done. I am not going to ever share anything with you that I have not personally tested myself. Even as a personal trainer, I value evidence-based practices. Uh, and I'm still not going to recommend it if I haven't put it into practice myself. Science can say it all day long, but if I haven't lived it, then I don't feel, uh, I, I don't feel I don't know, comfortable is the word. I don't know. Sharing it with you. Like, I want to know it fucking works, right? So anything I ever share with you, just understand I have done it. I have lived it myself and I have seen it work in my life, in the lives of others. And uh, so I know it's legit. I know it's fucking legit. All right, fam. So let's dive in. Number one. Number one is going to be very similar to the number ones in the last two videos. So if you saw those videos, you know what the fuck is coming. Okay. Number one, stop telling yourself that. Stop telling yourself, I'm so tired. I have no energy. Oh my God, I need a nap. I need a coffee. I need a this. I need. Stop it. Stop it because thoughts become things. What you believe creates your reality. Okay, this is not a law of assumption or a manifestation uh, channel. I am not a law of assumption or manifestation teacher, but I am a daily moment to moment practitioner of both. And I know this shit is legit. The more you bitch and complain about how tired you are, how you have no energy, how you need a nap, the more you identify with being a tired mom who lives off of iced coffee and never eats a meal and never has time to wash her hair. The more you identify with that, the more it is going to be real in your lived experience. Okay. I am not a fan of wine mom culture, coffee mom culture. I mean, I love coffee. Don't get me wrong, but I don't fucking need it to survive. Like, can we please stop with the self-deprecation? Can we please stop thinking it's cute and funny and trendy to talk about how fucking tired we are? And how we need coffee to sustain ourselves or how we need wine at the end of every fucking day because we can't possibly function and, you know, live our lives without, you know, being able to numb out at the end of the day. Like, this is not fucking healthy. And the fact that we uh, normalize it, celebrate it, trivialize it is asinine to me. So I am not the one. I am not the one. Okay? Uh, so we're going to stop identifying with those things. Okay? Right out the gate, right out the fucking gate. You have got to shift your mindset. You have got to assume a different identity. Otherwise, the things that I'm going to share with you, the tangibles are just going to be fucking band-aids. They're just band-aids over festering, gaping wounds, right? You can't put a band-aid on a festering, gaping wound. <laughs> you have to get to the root, dig out the infection and get it the fuck out. And right now the infection is... The stories that you have on repeat about how tired you are, how you have no energy, how you need a nap, a coffee, a this, a that, a blah, 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 blah. You're a hot mess mom. Stop it. If you don't want to be a hot mess mom, then stop identifying as a hot mess mom. Now, if you want to be a hot mess mom, that's your thing. You've branded yourself as that and you're like getting that bag for it. Cool, sis, stick with it. But if you truly do not want to be a hot mess, then stop telling yourself you are. Stop telling the rest of the world that you are. Okay, because the more you identify with it, the more you affirm it, the more it is true. Okay, I'm done with my rant. Uh, you're currently affirming to the negative, right? We've talked about this in the previous two videos, right? You're affirming to the negative. I'm so tired. I have no energy. I need a nap. I need a coffee. I need a blah, 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 blah. We're going to affirm to the positive, bitch, okay? I've got three for you. Number one, I have so much energy. I always have so much fucking energy. I have so much energy. And I'm not saying when I tell you to affirm this, I don't mean just say it once. Because if you say it once, you're going to be like, bitch is crazy. This shit does not work. You have been affirming. You are so tired. You have no energy. You need a nap and a coffee for God knows how long. It's been years at this point, maybe even decades. You have been affirming that. Okay, so it's not just a flip of the switch. It's not just, the, oh, I, you're going you're gonna to think to yourself or say out loud, I have so much energy. I always have so much fucking energy. And it's just going to happen magically. You have to rewire your brain. It, this is literally creating a new neural pathway in your fucking brain. 
all right? So it doesn't happen immediately, okay? You, you have to work the muscle. Just like if you work with me in one-on-one, we train together, you're not gonna have like crazy fucking biceps after one bicep curl, right? Like that's something we're gonna work on together to build those muscles focused on hypertrophy and strength, right? So this is something that you have to continuously do. So my biggest suggestion is whenever the thought pops into your head, I'm so tired, I have no energy, I need a coffee, I need a nap, you're immediately gonna say, no bitch, I have so much fucking energy. I have so much fucking energy, I don't even know what I'm gonna do with all of it. I, like I'm buzzing, I'm literally buzzing, okay? So every time the old story pops up, you're gonna counter it. You're gonna contradict it with the new story that you are affirming for yourself, okay? Okay, number two, I'm excited and, and enthusiastic about my life. I'm so fucking excited and enthusiastic about my life. I'm so fucking excited and enthusiastic about my life. And then number three, I'm so fucking hyped right now. I could run a freaking marathon. I'm so fucking hyped right now. I could go run a freaking marathon. Oh my God, I'm so fucking hyped right now. I could go and run a freaking marathon, okay? And any other thing, any of, you don't have to use my affirmations. These are just a couple that I popped out of thin air and thought I would suggest to you, okay? Um, so yeah, number one, stop fucking telling yourself that you're tired, have no energy, and need a nap or a coffee or a whatever. No, you don't, bitch. You need to stop telling yourself the same old, same old and start creating a new story, okay? I love you. All of this is said from love. Okay, now let's get into the tangibles. Number two, drink more fucking water. I know you've heard this before, but are you doing it? Bitch, are you actually drinking your water? Because if you're not, you need to fucking drink it. You're basically a cucumber. You're basically a houseplant with a brain. You need fucking water, okay? Uh, your body is made up of 60% water, okay? And unless you're drinking half your body weight in ounces a day, you're not getting enough of it, okay? Again, 60% of your body is made up of water. If you don't get enough, you will experience things like tiredness, irritability, headaches, dry skin, tongue, and mouth, lightheadedness, right? These things are true. You know you need to drink the water. Drink the fucking water. What do you need to do to make sure you're drinking the fucking water? Do you need to buy yourself a cool ass cup? Listen, I'm not in on the whole Stanley cup trend. I don't fucking get it. But if, if that's gonna help you drink water, go buy one. Go fucking buy one, okay? Um, do you need to set an alarm on your app? Hey bitch, drink your water. Then get the fuck up and go get the water. Okay. Like whatever you need to do, stay hydrated. Like it's so simple. It's so fucking easy. Just drink the fucking water. Okay. All right. That's enough. Number three, if you're feeling froggy, if you want that water to work extra hard for you, then add some minerals. Okay, uh, specifically electrolytes, even more specifically, sodium, calcium, and magnesium. Okay, these do not by themselves provide energy, right? It, it, electrolytes are not an energy drink per se, but they do help facilitate the energy manufacturing process in your body. Okay, so drinking some electrolytes, adding some electrolyte, and I don't mean the fucking electrolytes, like the, the sports drinks that have a fuck ton of sugar also, no, you can literally, uh, there's a brand called LMNT, like literally L M N T. Uh, and it's just packets. There's uh, liquid IV is another one. Uh, that one's at target. You can go get that one at target, but it's literally just a packet of electrolytes with no added sugar, no added bullshit, nothing like that. It's literally potassium, magnesium, and calcium. Okay. Uh, wait, sodium, sorry. Sodium, calcium and magnesium. Potassium is another one too though. Uh, that's a really helpful one. But uh, again, drinking them, consuming them is not going to be like an instant energy boost, like an energy drink or a Red Bull or anything like that. But you will absolutely feel it if you are depleted of um, electrolytes and minerals. Okay. Like your, your energy will be depleted. So a good rule of thumb is to just have you know, a packet of minerals or something like that a day. I would suggest having one a day. Uh, even something as simple as adding salt to one of your cups of water can help with this, okay? So if you don't wanna go out and buy packets of, of electrolytes or minerals or anything like that, add some like Himalayan sea salt. Um, Celtic salt is also really great, I've heard. I haven't used the Celtic salt, so uh, I, I can't speak to that, but I've heard it's also great. I do Himalayan sea salt. Um, but adding that is also going, it just helps with the absorption process of the water in your body. 
Uh, and again, it helps facilitate those having the water properly absorbed helps to facilitate those energy production processes in your body. So you're going to have more energy. So it's kind of an indirect way of providing yourself with, with sustainable energy. Okay. So get you some minerals, girl. All right. Uh, what are we on? Number four, lay off of the sweets, lay off the sweets and increase your protein. Same goes for complex carbs. Although, uh, I prefer protein over complex carbs when it comes to, uh, sustained long-term energy. Okay. While sweets do provide a quick burst of energy, right? If you need that, you just, it's going to be real quick, but then most of the time it's going to lead to some kind of crash. So, uh, it's not really helpful for daily functioning and sustainable long-term energy. Okay. We need long lasting, slow burning, sustainable energy. And that comes from protein, my dear. It takes longer to digest protein. So it provides a slower release of energy that'll carry you a lot further than any kind of quick bite of sugar or anything like that. So instead of reaching for the donut, reach for the jerky, reach for the hummus and carrots, reach for um, the whole fat, plain Greek yogurt, reach for whatever the fuck, high protein. I, I like that is my go-to. Uh, when I feel my energy slumping, I'm grabbing, nine times out of 10, it's beef jerky because you have, your girl fucking loves some beef jerky, uh, but it's definitely gonna be a high protein something, okay? And again, this also goes for complex carbs. Um, as opposed to like simple sugars and things like that, complex carbs are also going to burn a little bit more slowly um, than, you know, the, the sugary shit that you're consuming instead, if you are consuming that, but it's not going to be nearly as slowly as protein. So protein, protein. It's also going to help with muscle, uh, muscle, with muscle building, if that's one of your goals right now. Okay. And number five, the fifth and final, before we get into our bonus and our honorable mentions, uh, move your body move your fucking body, move your fucking body. Even if it's just 15 minutes, taking a walk. I don't give a fuck. Move your body. Uh, exercise sends oxygen and nutrients to your tissues and helps your cardiovascular system work more efficiently. And when your heart and lung health improve, you have more energy to tackle your life. Okay. Muscles are often also described as the engine of your body's fat and calorie burning mechanism. Uh, increased muscle mass can lead to less body fat, a stronger immune system, improved energy levels, and reduced stress. So movement, 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 movement. I have not shared anything groundbreaking here today, family. Nothing. These are all things that you know you should be doing, except for maybe the first one. <laughs> You know, you need to drink water, you know, maybe you don't know about the minerals. Maybe that was new, uh, but you know, you need to drink water. Uh, you know, you need to eat healthy food that, cause that's literally where your energy comes from. Uh, and you know, you need to move your body. So fucking do it. Just go fucking do it. A lot of this shit is just discipline. You're not always going to want to drink the water. You're not always going to want to eat the protein. You're not always going to want to do the movement, but at some point you have to just be like, fuck, I just have to fucking do it. And that's when you start to develop discipline, which is like the number one skill that you need for success in any area of your life. Okay. All right. Bonus. Go outside and take a deep breath. The vast majority of us are wildly under oxygenated, uh, which causes fatigue and tiredness, right? So breathing more deeply, inhaling fully and exhaling completely. If you don't know, I'm also a certified yoga teacher. Uh, so I'm gonna talk to you about breath work. So breathing, like actually deep, deep, deep belly breaths, expanding through the belly and through the diaphragm, really, really filling up and then letting it all out, right? Fucking breathe and sunshine. Don't even get me started right? Sunshine is so, uh, again, I said, you're basically a house plant with a brain. Plants need water and sunshine and soil, right? Healthy soil. Like same for you, sis, same for you. So uh, go outside, take a deep breath. It brings more oxygen to the brain, muscles, tissues, and cells, which in turn affects mental and physical performance. Getting plenty of clean, fresh air is the best way to keep the brain functioning at full capacity. Everyone needs natural sunlight. Stay healthy every single day, every single fucking day. Go the fuck outside. Go outside. Okay. I don't care if it's cold. I don't care if it's raining. I don't give a shit. Go outside every single fucking day. Make it a non-negotiable for you. Okay. And then honorable mentions, limit screen time and go the fuck to sleep. Okay. Like again, things that we know, we know, you know, you do not need a screen in front of your face. Non-fucking stop. So when we're done with this video, when you're done watching this, you're going to get the fuck off your phone. 
and you're gonna go take a walk and you're gonna drink some water and you're gonna find some protein, okay? You're gonna go and do these things. And obviously go the fuck to sleep. If you're staying up until 10, 11 o'clock at night watching Netflix, knowing good and damn well you have to get up at six o'clock the next morning to go to work, I don't wanna hear that you're tired. You chose that for yourself. You, you chose that path for yourself, okay? So turn the Netflix off, turn the Hulu off, turn the HBO off, and go the fuck to sleep. You should be getting at least seven to eight hours a night. Now, if you have a newborn, if like have some self-awareness, if you're in a season where sleep is scarce, then okay, cool. You know that. You know that. Maybe seven to eight hours consecutively is not uh, feasible for you right now, which is just a, more of a reason to not stay up until 10 o'clock at night watching HBO. <laughs> if your baby goes to sleep at 6, 6.30, go to sleep by 7.00. Go to sleep by seven and sleep until, you know, they wake up and they're, and it's their next feeding. Whatever you need to do, whatever you need to do. Uh, point is, limit your screen time, get off the fucking screens and go the fuck to sleep. Please, for the love of God, go to sleep. Okay. Again, nothing groundbreaking here. All of these things are things that you know, or most of them. Okay. Maybe there's been a couple of revelations here, a couple of little things. But what I want to get across is like, this isn't a quick fix. The things that I am sharing for you here will help you very quickly. If you shift and start consuming more protein, you will feel the difference. If you start incorporating minerals into your water, you will feel the difference. Okay, so there are some quick fixes, quote unquote here, but that's not the fucking goal. This needs to become a lifestyle. If you want long-term sustainable energy, like all the fucking time, then you need to begin incorporating some of these, th these things into your lifestyle. Like you're not just gonna drink minerals for a week and then you're golden, baby. You're not just gonna eat protein for a week and then you're golden, no. This becomes a lifestyle. If you want to live a life that is full of energy and vibrancy, then you have to do the things that a person who lives a life that is full of energy and vibrancy would do, which includes shifting your mindset, staying hydrated, making sure you have enough minerals, eating the foods that provide adequate and sustainable energy, uh, getting outside, moving your body, all of these things. It's about becoming the type of person who has the life that you want to have. And that's what, that's all I've shared with you today. So my recommendation would be to start incorporating a couple of these things, maybe start with one and do it for a week and then, you know, stack on a second one and do that for a week and, you know, so on and so forth. And if you need help with that, I'm your girl. Again, the link to work with me one-on-one -on -one is in the description. You can also just go to wildfit.com and uh, you'll see my one-on-one -on -one fitness training application there. And we talk about habit stacking uh, or habit formation. We talk about behavior change in addition to fitness training because it's not just, you know, training that bicep muscle. It's, it's becoming the type of person who has fucking ripped ass biceps all the time, right? Uh, that's the goal, the lifestyle change, because that's the only way it is going to become sustainable for you. So thank you so much for being here with me today. I hope this has been helpful. If it has, please like, comment, share, subscribe, all of the things, and uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye.